Hello, I'm David from IT Solutions Network and today we are going to attack our own DHCP servers and then see how we can protect from similar attacks. Disclaimer, you cannot attack someone's network like that. You need to have a proper authorization from the network owner. You cannot just go around and attack networks, that's illegal. You might end up being in jail, so make sure you have the permission to do so. The DHCP starvation attacks idea is to exhaust all available IP addresses that the DHCP server can allocate. This attack works because we generate random MAC addresses and send lots of requests for getting the IP address. Obviously, the DHCP server can't differentiate the real MAC address from the spoofed one and it assigns the IP address to each MAC address it receives requests for. As a result, the business stops working because soon or later none of the computer will be able to communicate with the rest of the world because they don't have the IP address. Let's deploy the DHP starvation attack and for that we will use our beloved application Rusinia on Kal Linux. If you don't have it, I recorded a video how to install Kal Linux in VMware on Windows 10. I also have a video on how to install Kal Linux on a Raspberry Pi, a $35 computer. Before we launch the attack, let's see what we have on the DHP server. I'm running a DHP server on my Cisco switch and we are going to check if we have many IPs allocated so far. Okay, none of the IP. Now, entire subnet is free. We can use them. So let's run the attack. This is our application in Kersinia, which we love very much. And we are going to attack, go on DHP tab, send in discover packets, and OK. Now, Yersinia will generate random MAC addresses and will send all of these MACs saying that I need the IP address, I need the IP address. And of course, DHP will allocate an IP address to each MAC address. Now, let's see what we have on a DHP server. Okay, three IPs are allocated uh, already. Now, this is a little bit slow process, but uh, it works. At the end, DHP won't have any IP address available to assign on any new computer. Okay, we successfully deployed the attack. Now let's prevent it from happening in the future. To prevent such an attack, we need to limit DHP discover messages and obviously we need to do it on the network level on the switch port. Fortunately, manageable switches are capable to limit the MAC address per port, and that's what we are going to use. That feature is being called port security. We are going to limit the MAC address on a port. Let's say we allow three MAC addresses only per port, and we say if you see more than three, shut the port down. Under the interface configuration, switch port, port security, maximum three and then enable it. Before that, let's disable the attack. Let's clear the MAC address table. And enable switch port for security on the interface level. Now, this is the configuration of the switch port. And as soon as I run the uh, attack again, switch will shut down this port. Now, look at this one. We will receive the message here on the console. Sending discover packets and boom, security violation occurred caused by this MAC address. This is the fourth MAC address because we are allowing three MAC addresses and this is the fourth one. And the port is down. And this port will stay down unless we reset it. It's in error disabled mode. And this is how you prevent the PHP starvation attack. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the content. And if you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire us for a project, go to our website itsolutionsnetwork.io and click the hire us button. Thank you again and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out other videos from us.